Chair, okay, members of the board, <clears throat> excuse me. For those citizens who desire to submit articles for the zoning ordinance, those amendment petitions may be submitted uh, as early as November 14, 2016, and the final submission date is December 14, 2016, 5 p.m. Petitions that are to be presented to the Board of Selectmen by statute. For those citizens who desire to submit petitions for the regular warrant articles uh, for any subject other than zoning, your petitions can be submitted anytime but must be received not later than 5 p.m. January 10th, 2017 in the Selectman's office. Uh, originally, the rededication of the town clock was scheduled for October 23rd. That's been postponed and put forward. We'll keep you advised. We understand it may be sometime during the month of November, but we'll continue to advise you as to what's going on there. We would ask, please, for an anyone who observes uh, to report any depositing of anything with any catch basin or storm drain, in particular dog waste. We have two other things, Mr. Chairman, and that is the Public Works has announced that uh, between October 31st and November 4th, they will be, be collecting leaves, which seem to all of a sudden materialize this time of the year. And um, for solid waste update for the month of September, uh, this year, 597.5 tons as opposed to last year of 624.3 tons. Um, with the same on recycling for uh, 251,000, 251, I wish it was 1,000, tons in September of this year versus 265 last year. Overall, they're up, we're up 30 tons in overall refuse for this period for the, from the pre previous year. Excuse me. Get my tangle all tangled up on that one. That's it, Mr. Chairman. Any questions for the town manager? No questions? No. Nope. Negative, sir. No. Thank the you. only one I had is in case somebody saw the uh, agenda, the, the uh, clock is on there, and the clock is not going to be rededicated on uh, October 23rd. Uh, it'll be sometime in November. Uh, they're still still putting it in and they want to have it all done before they rededicate it so be a good thing they want they don't want to put the cart before the horse there is one other thing mr chairman and and, and i know the finance director is staying for it um the board needs to establish the amount of money that you wish to place uh against the tax rate from surplus uh or from the unreserved and designated fund balance or whatever you want to call it this particular year uh and i know she's prepared to address that issue Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So the DRA has um, gotten received all of the information they need from the precinct and the school district and the town and for our estimated preliminary tax rate for the municipal portion of the tax rate, you will see what I've put in uh, front of you. It's looking that it will be, these are just estimates. We have to remember that because it's not set in stone until I work all the way through with DRA, but we're usually close within, you know, 10 cents or so, not too much. But uh, the estimated municipal tax rate is $6.72. Um, and then I've broken it down if the board shows to take 500000 from the unassigned balance, it would drop it to $6.57. And if you were to take $1 million uh, from the unassigned fund balance, it would drop it to six forty two. dollars So you can see it's about $0.20 cents or so each time. Um, the unassigned fund balance, just to provide an update on that, it was on the MS-535 that you received, and I believe you discussed a uh, portion of that report at your meeting a couple weeks back, but the unassigned fund balance for 1231.15 is $6,991,520. There was a warrant article, um, number 31, that was voted on at the town meeting for the town war memorial for $5,000, so that would bring the unassigned fund balance down to $6,986,520. I've kind of given you a breakdown there at the bottom. You'll see that our current uh, fund balance 
retained is at 11.53%. And then DRA has broken down, you know, if we wanted to have be at 17%, 10%, 8%, and 5%, and it shows you all the figures there. So right now at the 6.9, we'll call it 6.9, almost $7 million were over the 10% but below the 17% for retained fund balance. Um, and I just kind of broke it all down for you. If you do remove 500,000, you would bring your fund balance down to 6,486,520, which still puts you above the 10%. If you use a million, it brings you down to 5,986,520, which puts you right below the 10%, but still well above the 8%. Um, this will be the item that does need to have action taken before the tax rate can be set. Uh, and so I would need guidance from the board as to if you want to leave it at the 672 or if we were looking to use some fund balance. I provided a breakdown um, on the average family home and compared it from 2015. Uh, the average family home was $330,402. The tax rate was 791. I only do municipal because that's our portion of it. So the tax bill for the average family home in 2015 is was $2,613.48. For the 2016 with the revaluation, the average family home is up to $377,800. So at a tax rate of $6.72 the bill would go down to 2538.82 so about 70 80,000 there or 80 dollars not 80,000 80 dollars sorry don't get people excited um, but so i kind of broke down for you the different impact i was also talking to the assessor today and he's saying that the values and the average family home cost and the tax rate and stuff are bringing us back to what happened in 2008 before the market crashed and all the values of everyone's home dropped and everything. So we're kind of going back to that uh, era in regards to the tax rate as opposed to being up to what I think it was 19 something last year over with um, all things considered like the uh, schools and the county and all of that. So that is what I have for you in regards to that. Do you have anything, Fred? Do you want to? Oh, I'd recommend, Mr. Chairman, that uh, the board consider uh, placing $1 million from the fund balance to reduce the tax rate. I would uh, concur with Mr. Welch. There's been some extraordinary success in uh, valuations here. People still are working hard. It's a working class community. They should be able to enjoy the fruits of their labor. It's their money. And uh, I would uh, enthusiastically endorse uh, Mr. Welch's professional assertion and would make that motion for the discussion. Motion second. I just have a couple of comments. Yep, that's just, just Just so people out at home realize what's going on because so often they don't. We, last year we had a big confusion over the unassigned yeah, what do we unassigned call it? Fund balance, yeah. Unassigned fund yeah. balance. You know, where's the unassigned? You get the figures for the unassigned fund balance from whom? The auditors. The auditors. Yeah. And the auditors know what they're talking about. I hope so. I believe I, they do. I believe so. I have also. confidence I just, in our auditors. I just want them for to make sure that people know that, yeah. so that we don't run into all the confusion that we had last year right. with mm -hmm. some people on the unassigned fund balance. Right. And when you say uh, eight, ten, or seventeen percent, are those are those suggested percents? Yes. From DRA. Home? DRA. From, yes. And they suggest what? The, the minimum. The minimum recommendation from them is five percent, which would be a fund balance for our community, would be uh, three million twenty-eight thousand nine hundred fifteen dollars. So we'd be almost double that. Basically. Right. So even if we do what Mr. Bean and Mr. Correct. Walsh re recommend, take a million dollars, we are still in very good financial shape. Correct. Safety. The fund balance. If you uh, use the million dollars, the fund balance. Uh, would uh, unassigned fund balance would be five million nine hundred and eighty six thousand five hundred and twenty dollars. The tax, the municipal tax rate estimated municipal tax rate would be six forty two, and would drop that average family home from two thousand six thirteen to two thousand four twenty five. So almost two hundred dollars. So right, right. So just just so that the public realizes that that's a re those are real figures. Those are not. 
Correct. High in the sky. High in the sky. Yeah, unassigned we, fund balance you, are real figures. The tax rate is an estimate until I right. get back to her. I have right. proofed the numbers that DRA has. I came up with like a $50 differential, which will do absolutely nothing to your tax rate, but I still need to firm all those things out with the Department of Revenue. So I always like to make sure everyone knows it's an estimate. Everyone's Excel spreadsheet rounds a little different. So my 642 could turn into you know, 645 or something, but it's not going to be a drastic difference. So, so it should not be. with the public knowing what we're talking about, I support Mr. Bean's motion and second by Mr. Uh, any other questions? I don't have any questions, but I would support that motion as well, that we remove one million from the unassigned fund balance. And I would also argue that, yes, auditors usually do know what they're talking yeah. about. So <laughs> I'd say that that number is so probably 100% correct, yeah. So all those in favor of the one million? Unanimous. All right, so Go. hopefully we will have a, because I know the public has been calling the tax collector on a daily basis, so hopefully we shall have a tax rate uh, prior to the end of the week, and I believe if that was the case, the tax collector promised all that she would have the tax bills out in by November 1st and due by December 1st. So all the residents at home who have been calling every morning and asking her. We, we've had a certain few residents that have, that have called and, and sent emails on that. We've also had a certain few residents that have called. And one was mentioned tonight about the budget being on online. Well, the budget is not is our working budget right now. And until we until we approve that, like we did on some of those items tonight, it's still just a working document. So that's why that has not been published. We don't want to confuse people like it's been done in the past by putting out a whole bunch of paper out there, and then the final thing comes out this way. There, when we are done with it, we will print it. We will have it ready. And we will get it to the budget committee just as soon as we can so that they can start working on it themselves. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank just you. as long as Max knows that's est estimated yes. tax, not real tax. Yeah, I tried to say estimated many times. Right. Okay. Thank you. Old Thank business. You.